Submarines are already remarkable as vessels that can travel under the surface of the water, but certain machines stand out as being especially bizarre or amazing, often holding world records. In the video today, we discover submarines so large they could launch aircraft and even a submarine that could itself fly. We dive to new depths to discover the must-know and most remarkable in this underwater realm of human achievement and experimentation. Number 10. I-400 class submarine in the Imperial Japanese Navy. Submarines are famous for their use in combat and might be correctly imagined as purveyors of torpedo attack. Yet the concept of a submarine seems as far removed from the work of an aircraft carrier as might be possible. Yet engineering and necessity bring great surprises in the form of incredible feats of innovation. Submarines were used widely in World War II, and in combat they might seem like the opposite of aerial means of fighting given their undersea modus operandi. But the I-400-class submarines of the Imperial Japanese Navy were huge submarines that were also aircraft carriers launching fighters that were kept in storage tubes. Measuring an incredible 400 feet in length, the giant submarines were reasonably close to being twice the size of a German U-boat. A fleet of 17 of the gargantuan subs was planned by Admiral Yamamoto, but was never completed. The ability of the submarine to be an aircraft carrier in order to carry out clandestine raids on U.S. territory was facilitated by the construction construction of a giant watertight hangar running below the submarine's conning tower. This tube was gasket sealed and could hold three HEM-6A Siren floatplane fighter aircraft inside. Catapult launched, the fighter planes would then return, land and be hoisted back into the sub for storage. Number 9. Kaiten Kamikaze Submarines Kamikazes are probably forever linked in your mind with aerial attacks on American vessels, but in reality the concept was unfortunately more widely applied. Kamikaze-style attacks were not only carried out with explosive-laden aircraft, but also a special type of submarine known as a chitin. These were submarines packed with explosive weaponry and deployed in suicide sub-attack missions to crash into ships. Initial models would allow the operator to escape from the deadly craft, but soon the models transitioned into an entirely suicidal model. These chitins did did not offer any way for the operator to get out once he was locked inside. The Chitin subs were best described as being manned torpedoes in their form and function. Achieving speeds of up to 34 miles per hour, they were exceptionally fast with the ability to close in on a target more readily than a typical submarine. Death did not just come as a result of suicide attacks. Many would-be Chitin pilots died in training exercises designed to increase their skills in delivering attacks on a target. Number 8. Soviet Submarine K-222 Due to the great drag associated with travel below the surface of the water and the design limitations inherent in most submarines, it's typical for submarines to be slower than many boats and always far slower than most land and air transport. The fastest submarine in the world, the Soviet K-222, was constructed through a bold project that began in 1959 to build an exceptionally advanced high-speed submarine. Launched in December 1968, the K-222 boasted a titanium hull with operational speeds of 44 .5 seven knots or 51.4 miles per hour. Achieving such a high speed was a noteworthy accomplishment, representing an incredible feat for a submarine. The machine stood out as unique among submarine projects with its advanced titanium hull construction. However, the submarine experienced many structural challenges centering on hull degradation due to vibration and speed. Despite being decades old, the speed of the K222 has not been surpassed by any subsequent submarines built. Number 7. Red RFS-1 Flying Submarine You might think you've seen it all once you see the submarine in this entry. The Red RFS-1 is a machine like no other, combining absolute opposites in travel mode to a remarkable new level. Forget flying cars, this machine is nothing less than a submarine that also doubles as an aircraft. In its two different modes, the RFS-1 either travels below the surface of the water or surfaces and then takes flight in the mode of a small float plane. Constructed by American defense contractor Donald Reed in 1962, the layout of the machine was admittedly slightly terrifying, with a pylon-mounted propeller just behind the open cockpit. The pilot was meant to breathe using an aqualung when the machine was in submersible mode. In the air, the submarine body was built to double as a fuselage, with the wings providing enough lift for flight instead of gliding through the water. It is perhaps more remarkable that the machine managed to fly for 75 feet than it is disappointing with regard to how the machine performed. The maximum depth of operation was 12 feet, aided by a rubber cover over the engine compartment. Number 6. Bathyscaphe Trieste Ferrari's creations might be fast, but an Italian-built submarine holds the world record for the deepest dive. 
Just under 60 feet long, the somewhat tub-like Bathyscaphe, meaning deep ship, Trieste, named after Trieste in Italy, is a record-holding submarine extraordinaire that was built in Italy after being meticulously designed in Switzerland. In 1958, the machine was purchased by the US Navy and soon used in Project Necton, which included exploring the deepest place on Earth, the Challenger Deep. The Challenger Deep is exceptional because it's a deeper part of the already exceptionally deep Mariana Trench. This machine descended to the bottom of Challenger Deep, becoming the first manned machine in history to do that. The depth to which the SuperSav dove was an incredible 35,813 feet below sea level. For some perspective, that's the same distance underneath the waves as an airplane would be above them. To reach the seemingly impossible depths that define the mission, the submarine employed iron ball weights that could be released once the time on the ocean floor had concluded. Interestingly, Jacques Picard, the son of the vessel's designer, Auguste Picard, was among the two-man crew, which also included U.S. Navy Lieutenant Don Walsh. Number 5. Project 941 Submarines may often be imagined as relatively small potatoes in the world of ocean-going vessels. Frequently, submarines have an appearance closer to a large manned torpedo. We're looking at you, Kitan. But in fact, they can reach enormous sizes, dwarfing even boats. The submarine equivalent of the blue whale, Earth's largest animal, makes many other submarines look like dolphins as far as size comparison goes. Constructed in 1981 in the Soviet Union and unsurpassed to this very day, the largest submarines in the world are undersea ships in their own right. Measuring 574 feet in length, just over 75 feet in width, the beam, and 39 feet in depth, that's the draft, the huge Akula, meaning shark, submarines resulting from the Soviet project 941 were the largest submarines ever to be built. They were really brought to public attention in the West in the Tom Clancy novel The Hunt for Red October. This is about an Akula submarine, or a typhoon as NATO calls it. The book is all about the crew attempting to defect to the United States. The machines were terrifying, with a reinforcement to the hull and propeller shields to facilitate breakage through Arctic ice. The weaponry included 200 nuclear warheads that could be launched from remote locations in an offensive. The 53-foot-long R-39 missiles on board each contained 10 separate nuclear warheads that could strike separate targets, while the missiles had a range of 4,480 nautical miles. Number 4. X-Class Midget Submarines during the Second World War, the British Royal Navy utilized bizarre microsubs that were known as X-Class Midget Submarines. Developed in 1943 and 1944, the minute but potentially deadly vessels would be towed behind a full-size submarine to their Axis target. The miniature subs may have been exceptionally tiny, but they were still able to carry a crew of four. When the main sub was in attack range, the tiny sub would be entered by its crew who approached via dinghy. After boarding, the crew would secretively advance upon the chosen target. The sub carried two explosive weapons, one on each side of the hull. The sinking explosive charges would be deposited beneath the target vessel, allowing time for the miniature sub to evacuate the area and leave no culprit in sight at the time of the devastating blast that would ensue. While the machines were small at just 51 feet in length, the material used to construct the submarines was sturdy and substantial remains persist. Stealthy in their design, vessels were equipped with electromagnets that helped the miniature subs to avoid being picked up by seabed-placed anti-submarine detectors. Number 3. Atlantis Passenger Submarines Be it scientific exploration, weapons research, or wartime deployment, submarines conjure up thoughts of all of these applications. But recreational trips in the name of tourism? Eh, not so much. However, submarine tours do exist, and Atlantis Submarines International is an innovative tourism company that provides submarine tours. Planned in 1985, the project stands out as highly innovative, giving everyday explorers an underwater oceanic experience most people would only dream about. The operations of Atlantis are surprisingly significant in scale, with bases in places as spread out as Guam, the Caribbean, and the Hawaiian Islands. The company has an incredible variety of underwater adventures to offer guests. The company has taken 11 million people on tours under the sea. Number 2. The Turtle Submarines, particularly those of military use, might seem to be the epitome of more modern advancements. Yet, some things that we consider modern are far older than commonly known. The 1775 American Revolutionary War against Britain saw a strange armed forces project funded by George Washington himself. The somewhat amusing-looking turtle was the world's first submersible to be deployed in combat. Globe-like, only 8 feet in length and resembling its reptilian namesake, the turtle represented a distinct contrast from the torpedo-shaped form of most modern subs. The 
submersible was also entirely human powered, with ballast that consisted of lead. On September 7, 1776, the turtle was deployed in the first ever attack by a submarine, with Ezra Lee at the controls. The rounded, slow turtle did not fire torpedo rounds, launch missiles, or aggressively chase the enemy ship. The inaugural submarine attack saw Lee sneak up on the HMS Eagle, a 64-gun British ship, and attempt to plant a time bomb on the hull. The mission failed due to a boring tool being blocked by iron sheathing. But apart from the mechanical challenge, the submarine was not detected by the ship's crew during the clandestine bomb planting attempt. The bomb ended up exploding, but neither the ship nor the turtle were destroyed. Number 1. USS South Dakota, SSN-790 The F-117 Nighthawk may be famous as the US Air Force stealth aircraft par excellence, but under the sea, stealth machines also exist. One might, at first thought, imagine Navy submarines be stealthy machines to begin with, but in fact, there are many effective means of detecting them. As a result, further advancement to make a submarine more secretive and easier to conceal from detection has been made over the years. With such priorities in mind, the USS South Dakota SSN-790 is nothing less than the most advanced stealth submarine roaming under the seas today. The project to create this unique submarine started in 2016. The vessel was christened in 2017 and the delivery took place in September of 2018. The machine is nuclear powered and does not require refueling at any time during its lifespan. That means the submarine can travel indefinitely on its S9G reactor and reach speeds of up to 25 knots as it advances under the waves. With ample technology to minimize detection, the attack submarine can surreptitiously fire devastating armaments, including Tomahawk cruise missiles, while taking advantage of effective concealment. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. We put out brand new videos every day of the week, so subscribe and you'll find out all about those. And as always, thank you for watching.